Okay, we've got a walkthrough here of the AP2 paper for design and technology. Um, we're just going to go and have a look through here. So we're going to have a look at the first question. The first question showed a picture of a garden trowel and a lady doing some gardening. Um, and it says in this, um, it gives you a design brief. It says below is a design for a basic garden trowel. Many elderly people have weak grip or arthritis and cannot use this product effectively. You need to redesign the handle section only, so obviously this part, so that it can help an elderly person use this tool in their garden for digging and weeding. So this really is about what we call inclusive design. It's designing products that a um, wide range of people can use and sometimes these products are actually better products for everyone to use. So we're going to have, have a look on here first and we're going to produce some designs. Now this says Question two is about creative design. You're advised to spend 15 minutes on this design and it says use the information in the design brief which you've just read to help sketch three different designs for a trowel handle that can be used by an elderly person with a weak grip or arthritis. Arthritis is where it's difficult for people to grip things. Okay, so we're going to have a go at um, drawing these. It says marks will be awarded for consideration of the end user and ergonomics. So we could just draw the handles because that's what it, it said that we're just doing designs for a trial handle. So if you just drew the handles, that would be fine. Um, I don't know if I'm going to draw the handles or draw the whole thing, but I'll start off. Now, um, draw them quite clearly. Keep them, don't do them too small. Um, the first one, I'm just going to draw a very simple kind of T design for a handle. I will put the little spade bit on there, but like I say, it's you could leave that off and get the same marks. Um, just put a little screw on there, and then I'm going to say it, uh, it's, it's the consideration of the end user. So I'm going to say uh, large diameter. handle is easy to grip and it's as simple as that I've just made I've just modified by putting a cross piece on there I haven't said anything about the materials because it's not asking me that yet and I've just um, my consideration of the end user is that it's large and it's easy to grip so I'm going to go for an, an, a next design so my next design I might make slightly more complex and add a kind of cotton reel part there. I'm going to put some handles here that go round like this. Then perhaps I'll add another grip, another large diameter grip here. And then make it quite long for some leverage. And then again a spade on there. Now here I might add some extra grips here and details. So that's my second design and um, I'm going to say two grips make this easy to use and I can just highlight those two the two grips so again there's my, my second design um, again not writing about materials and that but just explaining how or why that's easy to use um, and then I need a third design. Now I need to do something different here because obviously I've done those two things with the handle. So um, let me look at something a bit different. And I'm going to take a bit of um, inspiration from a sort of crutch. And if I come round here and round here to a handle there. And I'm going to put a second handle here. And then I 
Okay, so there's my third design, and I'm going to write on here that C shape support. will help so people or users with weak wrists. Okay, so if you look at that now, there's my three designs. One, two, three. Um, I've considered the end user. I think that's enough, just a sentence there. So I've said these, these consider. So if we mark this, this would be three marks there, three marks there, three marks there, and in total nine marks. So there is this question here, and I say the total nine marks with a three marks for each one. Okay, so we're going to look here now at this question. This is question three, and it says about developing the design. Again, it says advises you to spend 15 minutes. If you see 15 minutes, you can see that there's quite a, a, a good amount of marks for this question, um, a quarter of your exam if you had an hour. Um, it says choose your best idea from question two. On pages four and five, so this is obviously four and five here, um, Show how you would develop your design using notes and sketches. Marks will be awarded for details of specific materials and finishes <coughs> and explaining your choices, constructional details, design features and sizes, details of how the handle helps an elderly user grip and use the trowel. So there's the breakdown of marks. Um, again, 11 marks, so a lot, a lot of marks. So we need to spend some time on this. So... Um, we could start over the, the page. I'm going to draw it on here because I think it will be clearer for you to see on the, the camera here. Um, I'm going to pick my second design. I'll pick the second design. So I'm going to draw it nice and big here. Um, first of all, I've just got to sketch it. So I'm going to sketch this design. There. I'm going to draw my handles. here um, and when you're drawing this now you do need to think about the materials that would you you'd use and also as it says construction now for construction we could add some extra pictures here so I, before I draw the rest of it I think I'll add a little bit here so for here for example I could just draw a little sectional view of the end here and I could draw a piece of maybe a threaded rod and a, a little drawing of a, a, a bolt or a nut. And um, if I added an eye lock nut there. So what I've done there instantly, I've added a bit of construction detail. So I've just said that there would be a thread. rod and nylock nut going through a hole. So there's some of them are construction details that I've actually added as I go along. Um, so now I need to carry on with my handle and I think the design went something like this. So it had a, a, a bigger diameter grip here. I'm going to add and then again I think for this it would be a good idea to add a shovel thing but it's it's not saying anything about um, the design for the, the shovel it's just saying the handle so if you do anything for the shovel you probably wouldn't get marks um, okay so there I've, I've finished the drawing for my design um, again here I really would be nice to add some more construction here so um, I could do a little drawing here again in close up of the handle um, and I could just say fixed with 
um, screws to We could be a bit more specific, but I think if it was a wooden handle and screws, that would be fine. So that's given us some construction detail. So <clears throat> we've probably got our two marks there. Now we need to add some um, materials. We need to say what materials we're using. So I'm going to say here that this is a um, TPE, which is thermoplastic elastomer or rubber. But again, it's saying specific materials. So saying plastic or wood wouldn't get you any marks or metal. So I've, I've named it TP, thermoplastic elastomer rubber um, grip um, here. This one I'm going to put a different material in just to make sure I get the mark. So I'm going to say um, oak handle here is durable and easy to grip so there's my oak handle um, this is going to be polished stainless steel so I've talked about a finish here um, and that would give a high quality look so I'm, I'm looking at the overall thing um, so I've got all these here I could say that this has the oak handle needs to be easy to grip um, we probably don't want a shiny varnish but m perhaps Danish oil on handle okay um, so we've talked about construction, uh, we've talked about finishes, we've used some, given some uh, examples for how we think it would be constructed, we've talked about finishes. So that's all the marks there. All we need to do now, if we look here, is just how the, ha how the handle design would help an elderly user. So I'm going to say um, this design will help an this is I'm hoping the user because it has large diameter Handles which are easy to grip and the two areas to grip, two areas to grip or two handles. Um, will extra for weak hands. So it says this design will help an elderly user because it has a large diameter has large diameter handles which are easy to grip and the two areas to grip will allow extra grip for weak hands. So if we just go back up to the side here I've added details of specific materials and finishes so I've got two marks for that I've added construction details I get three marks for that I've got plenty of design features and sizes so three marks and I've also now added details of how the handle might help an elderly user grip the trail so that's my 11 marks for that so there's question three and there's the full 11 marks